Dear Mom, I have now been here for three weeks. We get little to eat and drink. I've seen some of my closest friends die right in front of my eyes. Piles of bodies lay strewn across the battlefield, and the smell alone is atrocious. It's the smell of gas, sadness, fear, and rotting flesh. I worry I may never see you again. I took a bullet in the side, so I grabbed a pencil. I needed to write you this letter before I died. The past three weeks were nothing short of torturous. I know I'm the youngest in the Royal Canadian Regiment, but that would never hold me back from serving in the war. I've become quite skilled at handling a gun, and I've fought on the front lines beside great men. Unfortunately, they're gone now. One was shot advancing into no man's land, and the other was blown to pieces from an enemy bomb. If only there's something I could have done to save his life. The Germans' grenades pounded at our base. We were low on supplies and soldiers. We had to forge whatever we could to keep them off our backs. At any moment, I could have looked up and seen a German aircraft passing over the barren wasteland, pounding our trenches with lead. I feel grateful to have fought up till now, and I know that wars don't last forever. I've held the front lines well against the Germans, though that's hardly a comfort to me right now. There were many times when I could have just collapsed from exhaustion, though that didn't stop me. I kept pushing forward. I couldn't bear the thought of not seeing you again. We were never at peace, even when the gunfire had stopped and the sun had gone down. The black rats would infest the trenches, the filthy vermins ate everything in sight. At one point, my fellow companion was shot in the leg. I ran to save his life, reached for his head and painfully dragged him back to base. Bullets whizzed by, although I wasn't shaken. I knew his life was in my hands, although it was too late. I was hit. Now I'm here, all alone. I know this is it, so here is your letter. Maybe someday we'll reunite. But for now, goodbye. Love, Paul.